A number of persons with albinism die from skin cancer, despite the fact that it can be preventable. A consultant plastic surgeon, Dr. Fidelis Ozoba, while describing albinism as a rare genetic condition that causes the lack of pigments in the skin, hair and eyes, says using sunscreen and wearing appropriate clothing can prevent cancer and many other negative effects on people with the condition. Very good. Because we have learned that prevention starts now. If you are able to prevent some of these things, notice that the skin remains so fine and shiny. You have to be prevented at education. And that's why programs like this are key. You must continue to talk. People will hear the message. As people with albinism often suffer discrimination, poverty, stigma and violence, key players including the Dual State Commission of World Health, Dr. Sami Ali, are in agreement that raising awareness through teachings, sensitization, workshops, not only get people with albinism to stay healthy, but also demystifies myths and misconceptions about the condition and is seen that people with albinism are included in policies, human rights law and dialogue. Today to raise awareness about albinism, to discourage all forms of discrimination, to create a leveling ground for persons living with albinism, uh, to ensure that their rights are pro uh, protected. So the Ministry of Health is committed to all of this. Awareness is increasing and you, and you expect that with more information, with more knowledge, people will do better um, in terms of um, adherence to global best practice. So um, the key thing is that those who are already uh, suffering from the challenges associated with persons with they are able to know how to better manage their situation. And those who are yet to fall into the trap of the challenge, you know, particularly the younger ones, parents who have uh, children who are persons with disabilities, they now know that this is what they need, they, they need to do to prevent, to prevent. I lost my twin brother to skin cancer, squamous cell carcinoma. So since then, this, it, his death actually touched me. So I have to take up this challenge to create that awareness about the challenges, especially the skin challenges people with albinism face. Albinism Awareness Day is celebrated worldwide every June 13 as a response to human rights of persons with albinism. Osiyukwa Mesado, AIT News, Benin.